Hi, thanks for joining us again. This is um, the book 13, video 13 as well, for the gingerbread man. So I'm gonna share my screen. And this is how it looks in the read, write, and listen. And I'm gonna read from the big story, the big book um, that I have. So one morning a baker said to his wife, today I'll bake a gingerbread man and he'll look just right in our shop window. So the baker made a gingerbread man and put him in the oven. Before long, they heard a noise. A little voice began to shout, open the door, let me out. As soon as the baker opened the oven door, the gingerbread man jumped out onto the floor and ran right out of the shop. I'm off, he says. And the baker and his wife chased him down the street shouting, come back here little ginger feet, but the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. He hadn't gone very far when a hungry boy joined the chase calling, come back here little ginger face. But the gingerbread man ran and ran singing, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Next, he passed a hungry cow who said, come back here, little gingerhead. <laughs> but the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. It wasn't long before he met a hungry horse, neighing, come back here, said the ginger, come back here, little ginger paws. But the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Behind him chased the horse, the cow, the boy, the baker, and his wife. Come back, they said. Not likely, he said. So in the woods hid a hungry fox. He called, hey, what's the hurry, little ginger socks? But the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing. The fox says, let's have a chat. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he said he was just thinking how clever he was when the gingerbread man came to a wide river. The gingerbread man stopped. He needed to think. Up, kept the up crept the fox and said with a wink, jump onto my tail and I'll take you across. The gingerbread man thanked the sly fox and he jumped onto the bushy tail. The fox started to swim across the wide, wide river. Very soon he said, little gingerbread man, you're too heavy for my tail. Why not jump onto my red, red back? So the gingerbread man hopped onto the fox's back. But soon the fox said, little gingerbread man, you're too heavy for my back. Why not hop onto my shiny black nose? So the gingerbread man hopped onto the fox's nose. Was that a good idea? Just as they came near the end of the bank, the fox tossed back his head and with a flick of his neck, he tossed the gingerbread man up up, up in the air. And then the gingerbread man fell down, 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 right into the fox's mouth. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. With a, sm a sly smile, the fox trotted home singing, run, run as fast as you can, but I caught you little gingerbread man. So you'll see a little bit of a difference here in this story. In a, um, the the wife, the baker's wife, takes the gingerbread boy out. He escapes. The cow talks to the gingerbread. The horse talks to the gingerbread. The horse and the cow and the three people, the baker, the farmer, and the baker's the the other three people looking for that gingerbread man and here the 
Gingerbread is on the fox's tail, but we know he goes on the nose, right? So let's see about these comprehension questions. So look at the pinwheel. The first row is a pinwheel. What's in the story? A cake, a gingerbread man, or just bread? The gingerbread man, so we're gonna circle it. Look at this story, uh, look at the apple row. Who was in the story? Was there a dog? Was there a horse and a cow? Let's cross off what was not in the story. Let's cross off the dog. So here, so that's another level, crossing something out that wasn't in the story. So here we have a pig and a cow and a horse. Again, who was not in the story? The pig was not in the story. This builds confidence in your students, letting them know. Then we have in this story, I'll go to the rabbit line. We have the farmer chasing gingerbread or we have the farmer digging with his hoe in the dirt. So we're gonna circle the farmer chasing the gingerbread man. And on the last row with the ladybug, we have a fox and the baker's wife and the man in the city. So who ended up eating the gingerbread? And it was the fox. So we circle the fox. So that's again, the comprehension. This is book 13, look for video 13 on my YouTube and you'll see letter U. So I'm gonna give little five minute glimpses and try to get these put on audio book as well. So giving people some options of how to purchase these trainings that I'm giving. So find me at dyslexia-solutions.com. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.